everything's executive order. Because he doesn't have, have enough time because he's playing so much Wait, golf. He doesn't have enough time to convince Congress. You got to win. So I have the greatest stuff. But you know what? And I love golf. But if you I were in the White House, I don't think I'd ever see turned around. I just want to stay in the White you House and work my ass off. President Trump for the bird. Gearing up for his first high-stakes meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, President Trump publicly called out Russia in his harshest terms to date. We urge Russia to cease its destabilizing activities in Ukraine and elsewhere, and its support for hostile regimes, including Syria and Iran. But he cast doubt on U.S. intelligence assessments Putin was behind the meddling in the 2016 election, something White House officials say Trump is not expected to raise during the meeting. I think it was Russia, but I think it was probably other people and or countries and I see nothing wrong with that statement. Uh, nobody really knows. On the eve of the sit-down, Putin is showing he isn't planning to make things easy for Trump, praising the success of the G20 in a German newspaper, but slamming U.S. trade policies as, quote, protectionism, and U.S. sanctions as doomed to fail. He also voiced support for the Paris Climate Accord, which Trump pulled out of, calling it, quote, a reliable international legal framework. While Trump is publicly meeting with other world leaders, behind the scenes, his top aides, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis, and Fiona Hill, Putin critic now on the National Security Council, are all prepping him for tomorrow's sit-down with Putin. It's the most anticipated of his nine meetings on the side. So get your popcorn, and buckle up. The show is about to begin. I will build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it, and they'll be happy to pay for it. I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. This guy used a filthy, disgusting word on television, and he should be ashamed of himself, and he should apologize, okay? This is your motherfuckers, no protection. Bomb the shit out of them. We'll beat the shit out of them. Political bullshit. You're not gonna raise that fucking price. You understand? Gonna build a safe zone someplace in Syria. We have to get the Gulf states. They have nothing but money. We gotta get them to find, fund it. We gotta get them to put up the money. I will take care of women. I promise I will never be in a bicycle race. If I'm president, you're going to see Merry Christmas in department stores, believe me. I would knock the hell out of the oil areas. Would I approve one more? You bet your ass off. I will find the General Patton, or I will find General MacArthur. I will find the right guy. My generals, by the way, they're not going on television, okay? We negotiate our foreign trade deals. I want surveillance of certain mosques. I will absolutely take database on the people coming in from Syria. And if I win, I've made it known. If I win, they're going back. We have to rebuild our infrastructure, our bridges, our roadways, our airports. Reduce our 18 trillion in debt. We are going to save Social Security, repeal Obamacare, and replace it with something really, really great that works. I will take jobs back from China. I'll take jobs back from Japan. I'll take jobs back from Mexico. Sadly, the American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before and we will make America great again. Thank you. Wouldn't you say you crossed the line? What's going on? And it's temporary. I've had so many people call me and say thank you. Now, if you remember, when I did that a week ago, it was like bedlam. This is why the country's gotten into such trouble. This is the kind of thinking that we've been witnessing on Wall Street for the last five years. There's a tremendous hatred out there. You're fired. Go.